Ahoy hoy, this is Michaela from Team Retro, where we like retro games and we like the devices that bring them to us. So the more I use my Steam Deck, the more that it actually impresses me. And right now I'm trying to tinker and fidget and do anything possible that I can to this device because I am planning on doing a final in-depth review on the Steam Deck as a retro device and as a gaming device in general. And as I'm going along this journey, I realize that there's always something new that I could do a tutorial video on. So in this video, I'm going to focus specifically on 3DS emulation using Citra because my experience playing 3DS games on the Steam Deck was not initially great. And while it still isn't perfect, there is a good chunk of the library that is definitely playable and a lot sharper looking on this device versus an original system. And those of you that have been following this channel know that a wedge-shaped 2DS is one of my favorite retro handhelds for travel. So to see these games running at a much sharper resolution with touchscreen and mouse functionality is really something that you need to see to believe. So in this video, I'm gonna give a quick tutorial on the best way to set up your Steam Deck for 3DS emulation. And then I'm gonna show off some gameplay to show both the capabilities and the limitations of emulating 3DS on this device. And ultimately, I'll let you come to your own conclusion as to whether this is for you or not. All right, with that, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, just a quick disclaimer. I wanna to try to make sure I keep the ninjas at bay, so I just wanted to show off my 2DS XL. And every DS and 3DS game you see on here was purchased through Nintendo's eShop. And all of the games that I am going to be demoing are games that either exist on this device or that I already own in a physical form. I also have a pretty modest collection of DS and 3DS cartridges. And I've had a 3DS ever since they came out. I've just traded and gotten different models as the years went on and did system transfers and all that just to make sure that I've kept my licenses and my games and all of that. And I know the 3DS is a discontinued system now, but I just wanted to cover all my bases before continuing with this tutorial. One last disclaimer, this video also includes footage that was captured entirely on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. My wife and I recently upgraded our phones and I wanted to see if the camera was good enough to produce YouTube content. I have to say, I am very impressed with how I was able to produce decent video using a cell phone. It really streamlined my setup and video recording process, but let me know in the comments below if you think the footage is good or if you think it's doo-doo and I need to go back to using my camera. All right, with that, let's get on to the tutorial. So this tutorial assumes that you have set up and are using EMU Deck on your Steam Deck. So if you are not, I highly suggest that you do that. And I did make a video a little while back on how to set up and use EMU Deck. So I'm going to throw up a card up on the top right of the screen here. If you have not yet set up EMU Deck, pause this video, go check out that other video, set up your system, and then come back and watch this one. Also, just to make things easier, I have a PlayStation controller hooked up as well as a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So the first thing we need to do is switch to desktop mode. So we're gonna do that by going to power and switch to desktop. And we're going to use Steam ROM Manager to set up our 3DS emulation. And you can do this one of two ways. You can either set up Citra as a standalone app or you could set the games up individually to launch in Citra, but have their own front end on the SteamOS. So if you just want to load Citra on its own, then in Steam Run Manager, you're going to go to Emulators, and you're going to go up to the top to Preview, and then Generate App List. And then from there, it'll load up all of the emulators that EMU Deck loaded in when you ran the initial setup. 
and it will download icons from the Steam Grid database. And then from there, you can go through and just make sure that all of the icons and posters look good to you. You can change them up if you want to. I kind of left them as the default because they looked okay to me. And when you're done going through everything, go ahead and click Save App List. And then go ahead and relaunch Steam from there. And just verify that all the emulators you want are there. And if you don't want a specific one, you can right click it. Go to Manage and Remove Non-Steam Game from Library. Now let's go ahead and boot back to the SteamOS side. And you'll notice that Steam ROM Manager created an emulation section under your collections and all of your emulators are there. So let's go ahead and go into Citra. And before we load up the app, you'll notice a controller icon on the right. So let's go ahead and go into that. And we're going to change the layout. And we're going to change it to EMU Deck Citra 3DS. That will turn on the back buttons for us, but it will also set up the trackpad so that we can use it as a mouse for both the touchscreen and to navigate the menus. And that's it. You should be good to go. You should be able to load up the Citra emulator and then you can use the trackpads to navigate the mouse and to select a game and you can boot up all of your 3DS games right from this menu. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go into configure and we're just going to make a quick change to the graphics. We're going to set the internal resolution to a 3x native 720p resolution. And this resolution will give you a really nice display on the Steam Deck for 3DS games, maybe even better than on the actual 3DS. And there's honestly no point in turning down this resolution for 3DS games that do struggle to run on this device because no matter the resolution I found in my testing, if the game was going to struggle, it was going to struggle whether you were at a 1x resolution or a 3x resolution. Alright, now let me show you what to do if you want each 3DS game in your collection to have its own icon in SteamOS. And all you have to do is go back into Steam ROM Manager and instead of picking emulators, you're going to pick Nintendo 3DS Citra. And then same thing, you're going to go to preview and generate app list. And then you can go ahead and flip through the icons as you feel necessary. Change them up if you want to. And then click save app list when you're done. And then same thing, in your Steam library, if you need to delete a game that you don't want, you can do Manage and Remove Steam Gain, but you can also go to Properties to rename the game if you need to. Here in Kid Icarus Uprising, the file name was actually preserved, so I had to just change the title to be just the title of the game. And now when you go back to the game side, you'll see all the games are here, but you'll have to manually go in and set EMU Deck Citra 3DS for every single game as opposed to setting it up for just the one emulator. So it's really up to you if you want to do this configuration once and then select your game from the Citra menu or if you want to automatically launch into a game but have to take a few extra minutes and configure the controls for each game. For me personally, I like the latter because then it actually opens up the potential for community configurations for each individual 3DS game. And in most cases, you won't need to do that. Most games will work with the default Citra 3DS template just fine. But in the case of a game like Kid Icarus Uprising that actually requires you to use the touchscreen to control your aiming reticle, it might actually be worthwhile to go in and look at the community layouts. Now in this case, there are seven layouts all by the same person. I just downloaded the first one. And this is nice because this person, Sleepy AI, actually configured the mouse to default to the bottom touchscreen when you're using the large display setting in Citra. So basically the mouse cursor will stay on the bottom right of the screen and it's also set that all you have to do is touch and move your thumb and it will automatically move the cursor along the bottom screen as well as aim for you. 
And this control scheme is actually much easier to play this game than on an actual 3DS because playing this game with a stylus was just not great. But here on the Steam Deck, the controls are much more fluid. And the game would be a much bigger joy to play if it weren't for the fact that the frame rates kept dropping. Now this game's performance got a little bit better over time because of the shaders pre-rendering and preloading, but unfortunately I wouldn't consider this game all that playable and it's one of the few games that I didn't really think was going to be a good experience on the Steam Deck. Which is unfortunate because it controls great, it just performs not as great. So with that, I'm actually going to stop talking, I'm going to get into some gameplay, and I'm just going to let the footage run and let you make your own judgments as to whether the 3DS is a viable system to emulate on the Steam Deck. Thank you. 
So as you could see from the footage, in some games these settings are excellent for playing 3DS games. However, not every single game is going to be playable. For example, Kirby Planet Robobot and Kid Icarus Uprising were very questionable. However, turn-based RPGs like Pokemon, as well as easier to emulate games like Mario, will work just fine. So hopefully this video helped you to optimize settings for the Citra emulator on your Steam Deck. And if there are any other tips and tricks to streamlining how this emulator works, please let me know in the comments below. And I will tweak and mess with those settings prior to writing my final review. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And feel free to continue the conversation in the Budget Aquaman Discord. Link will be in the video description. Again, thank you for watching. And if this video was helpful to you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now. And don't stop believing.